Thank you, Senator Cortez. Master Senator uh, Toomey is recognized. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Estevez, I just want to sort of try to establish some baselines here. So first of all, I, I trust you would agree that any technology transfer, even as a part of an outbound investment by an American firm into China, is currently subject to existing export controls? Yes, I would, Senator. Okay. So BIS, as you, I think you just said, has the authority to block the transfer of really any kind of technology, intellectual property, blueprint, procedural know-how, software. And that doesn't end because a U.S. company has entered into, a, say, a joint venture with a Chinese company. That's correct. They would need a license if it was a protected technology. Right. So let me just to drill down on this and make it very clear. So if an American venture capital firm, for instance, is investing in a Chinese artificial intelligence company that has ties to the Chinese military, a technology transfer that's associated with that deal that included some kind of intellectual property or sensitive blueprints or services or procedural know-how, none of that escapes the jurisdiction of these export controls because it's part of an investment deal. If there was a technology transfer as part of that investment, that's correct, Senator. Right. So, likewise, if an American semiconductor firm, software firm, has a joint venture with a Chinese company, Chinese company can't just get, again, the sensitive technology, intellectual property, or any of that. Uh, they're not, uh, they don't come out from under the export control. That's correct. There's a slippery slope once you start working with companies. But so I guess the question becomes, do you, do, is it your view that the BIS has sufficient authority to control the transfers of sensitive American technology to China? Uh, yes, Senator. BIS has the appropriate controls to protect transfer of technology. Okay. Um, so you've got that authority. But I think you've said that you think we still nevertheless need to have some kind of outbound investment review mechanism, even though... You've just said we already have the authorities to prevent any kind of technology transfer. So I think given the limitations on time, I'm going to uh, not ask you to explain fully how and why we need to have that limitation on investment when we, you've said we already have the full authority to prevent the technology transfer. I guess what I'd like to ask you is this. I think we all know that when Congress passed ECRA, we did not intend for that law to contemplate a regime to regulate and block investment. So if we're going to stand up a regime that empowers that, don't you think that that ought to happen as a result of specific new statutory action by Congress? Uh, I agree there should be statutory action. Okay, so we should pass a law. And that comes completely under the jurisdiction of the Banking Committee, so the sensible way forward would be to have hearings on this to understand the need for this. Um, I, I'd, I'd like to have you back for an occasion where you could explain why you think we need this, given that you've already said we have full capability to block technology transfer. Um, I assume you would support and work with this committee on that. Uh, as you know, Senator, I would always come before this committee if asked. Let me ask you this. If a foreign company violates our export controls, is that sufficient grounds for putting that company on the entity list? If a foreign company violates their export controls, that is a likely can't they'd be a likely candidate for an entity list listing. Likely can't. So I, like, yes, I would put them on the entity list. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So we should, okay. Um, now, last year, China conducted two hypersonic missile tests, which Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, General Mark Milley, described as being very close to a Sputnik moment for the United States. There's also growing speculation that China will soon unveil its H-20 nuclear-capable stealth bomber. Now, several months ago, my staff and the staff of the chairman requested a briefing on the hypersonic test to hear from BIS an assessment of whether or not and to what extent any U.S. technology that was used in the development of that system. But we have not yet received that briefing. So... I'd like now to expand that briefing to include an analysis of whether U.S. technology of any sort has been involved in the development of the H-20 bomber. Can you commit today to give us that briefing within the next month? I will commit to give the committee what commerce can give. The reality is that's a much more complex problem that involves other agencies, including 
the inter- but we haven't had the BIS briefing. Go, I'm you'll, happy to Senator to give what BIS has. And we can do that within a month. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.